Hi, this is Lonnie Clark, Nets for Art, and I am uh, met some women at the Environmental Law Conference, and this is one to tell them that you're Loretta. And um, so I'm going to interview Houston? Loretta. Yes, my last name. You don't have to tell us your last name, but anyways, um, <laughs> I, I, she's agreed to do my interview and ask my usual three questions. I, 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 I feel like I got a home run tonight with two interviews in one night. So. Uh, the question, I've got three questions, and you agree to have this posted to my YouTube channel, Nuts for Art? Absolutely. Okay, great. So this is my first question. What do you know about Fukushima? Well, I know a, I know it's a disaster, and it's the, one of the most lethal forms of energy on the planet. Um, they claim it to be carbon-free, ignoring that it is the most lethal source of energy. Um, I actually had dreams and nightmares about it hearing so much about Fukushima and I had a dream about it being formed like a, a thermos and how it would be a perfect source to be a thermos to um, heat those to boil the water to turn the turbines using solar energy hmm. to replace the nuclear rods. Wow okay and what do you know about uh, Hanford? Hanford um, I've actually been in, off and on involved with it but they have been doing billions of dollars of studies to try to figure out how to deal with the waste, the lethal waste, and the, all these single-celled uh, tanks are leaching, they're corroding and leaching into the Columbia River, um, which is not uh, being addressed very effectively in the media, and a lot of our natives along the, along the Columbia River depend on the salmon, and so a lot of our entire uh, aquatic life is being contaminated with nuclear radiation. That's true. And then what do you know about radiation? <clears throat> well, radiation is one of the most long-lasting uh, long chemical uh, uh, isotopes that we have to, to, to live with. I mean, uh, there's, we had Chernobyl, which was a, a pretty severe uh, disaster meltdown, and now Fukushima being one of the worst as well. And uh, I forget what the half-lives are, but it's just catastrophic. catastrophic. Like some of their half-lives are, like uh, iodine thirty, I think is three hundred thousand years wow. half-life. Yeah, and cesium one thirty-seven, and uh, well, you know why they test for cesium one thirty-seven? Because that half-life is two and a half years, or well, see, one of the two, cesium one thirty-seven, one thirty-four. One is two and a half years, one's twenty-five years, which is considered a short half-life. So that's why they test for that, because it goes away. They don't test for Sounds plutonium. Okay. Yeah, they don't test for plutonium, hey, strontium, tritium. Oh, what about strobium that, that's, that's in the bones? Strontium, Strontium yes. that's in the bones of the wolves that yes. are populating in, in uh, yes. Uh, yes. Chernobyl. Yes, yes, yes. And then the life, what is the half-life of that? Uh, I think strontium is 70,000 years. Wow. Strap in the thousand years. Yeah. And so what this does, the whole nuclear thing, is it's going to change all life on our planet. For, this is why every single scientist involved in the Manhattan Project urged our, urged our government not to pursue nuclear technology. Every single honest scientist who has ever been involved with it says that we need to shut it down. And what so. did they do? Yeah, so. And another thing I know <laughs> is like, uh, especially being near major bodies of water like our, our ocean, the Pacific Ocean, um, you know, the salmon are out in the ocean for three years before they come back to the rivers and there's no boundaries. Are they the really? Water. Yeah. I didn't know that. And there's, it, it, before they come back and then they go, they go spawn into the rivers that where wow. they were born. So it's like there's no boundaries within water and it's really... Um, very irresponsible that there's not any testing or there's very uh, minimal media mm -hmm. being talked about what's mm -hmm. going on because it is not contained. That's true. The, Fuki the, the Fukushima spill. And uh, <clears throat> it's a disaster because uh, we can never, ever, uh, I don't think we can heal in lifetimes. No, uh, the not our lifetime, not our disaster that's You're been right. caused from this. Is there anything else you want to say to the YouTubers out there? Well, I just, uh, the only hope I guess we have is that we learn from our mistakes and that we don't keep going forward in that direction. Period. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye.